There we go. Hi, how's it going? I know I have the model on, but literally, I, I mean it when I say this, but I'm literally, it's like, all the thing here. So yeah, I literally have everything like, I was literally rushing everything and I was trying to prepare all that good stuff. So yeah, I hope that people are always here in, in, a, in a bit more, I was hoping everything would be like so much fun and everything all set to go. But yeah, um, you guys should hear me by now. I don't, I don't know how you guys can hear me. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm loud enough now, so. But yeah, hopefully this is everything is all We're gonna play some fun times tonight. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do some tier lists. And if we have some spare time, we can do a little bit of art. So yeah, hope everyone is doing well. It's drowning me a bit still. Oh, okay, let's turn this down a little bit more. All right, now I can turn myself up right here. How's that sound? Okay, hopefully that sounds better. Okay, I think every I think it should be fine. Hopefully, everything's good. Okay, cool. So let's try this again. Hi, what's up? How's it going, guys? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna do some tier lists tonight for fun. I had to make like a couple, but then we're gonna go into like the group tier. Oh, that was just the start screen. Yeah, no, I was trying to like um, get everything started and just you know get the jitters off and out of the way. So, yeah. Okay. Waiting for Fire Emblem Three Houses to drop? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. The Three Hope. Oh, okay, I see, I see now. Yeah. But it's gonna take forever since Nintendo is gonna be... We all know how Nintendo is. But Yosh, why do I have a little thing going on? I, got, I wonder if it has something to do with Astra's model? No, it can't be Astra's model. Is it? No, that's not. Ch that's a chat. Where is that thing coming from? Is it Battle Blood? Astra Cam? Oh, Astra Cam. That's why. I don't know why I still have the Astra Cam. Maybe it was something else. But whatever. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We have a couple of tiers in mind. So yeah. Wait, is this all right? Play? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I had to get Photoshop in here because well. Yeah, I, could, I I didn't have time for anything else, and I wanted to be like have some kind of originality and all that. But yeah. Um. By the way, don't tell these guys. <laughs> don't tell these guys. They don't need to. Know. It's okay. They don't need to know. They don't need to know at all. Right? Right? <laughs> they don't need to know. It's totally fine. <laughs> and don't you dare summon them. Okay, let's go ahead and get the started. Astra, I'm watching you. You better not tell them. I have the boys tier list too. Okay, so we're starting off with the Nuggy Squad family group. <laughs> but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna start with the, Nug the Nuggy Squad family group, or Nuggy family in this case. So yeah. Uh, who does everyone simp for? Everyone simps for. Um, okay. I think? Hmm. You know what? I feel like I should get out my tablet here in this case. Let me see if I can get my tablet real quick, because I feel like that's definitely needed for this kind of thing. Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, where's my Starcross tablet? No, that's Astra's tablet. I don't need that. I need my own tablet. Uh, there it is. I can do this. And... Well, let me see if I can get my tablet real quick. Oh! Where is it? Oh. It's, uh, for some reason it's not... Oh, right, because I'm not revealing it. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started here. So, let's see. Who do we... Who does everyone sim for? Um... Hmm... I don't know. I feel like, I feel like, hmm, who is the one that simps the, who gets simped the most? I feel like it's either gonna be, I feel like it's either CL or Amai. Either CL or Amai gets the most simps, uh, the most people everyone simps for. But I think, I think everyone simps for CL because like she's so, mostly on the fun side, like a best pal kind of thing. 
With a my though? A my. Whew. Those hips, man. Those hips. <laughs> you can't blame you can't blame anybody for like you can't blame anyone for that. We sim for everyone. I mean, we could do more than one person in this box, really. We could do more than one person in this box. There's no there there's actually no limit in my created one. Like we could literally just do whatever the fuck we want. So But yeah, it doesn't have to be one person. It's not one person like the tier maker list. Alright, so so you guys think all of us, right? <laughs> Everyone sims for all of us. Is that the case? Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can like Let me see if I can actually make duplicates. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get a my here. Let's get a my here. A my here. There's a my. And then CL. So we get CL right here. There's CL. Okay. Okay, so Lyra is basically confirming we sim for everybody. Okay, got it. Okay, so I guess we'll put everyone here for a starter. Alright. Okay, everyone sims for everyone. Yeah. Alright, let's put Nedu right here. And then, of course, we can't leave B. We can't leave B drops hanging. We can't leave B hanging. Uh, where's my B layer? There's B's layer. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and put B here. Okay. And then let's put B's here. And let's move Nedu a bit because it feels like Nedu is being blocked a little too much. Where's Where's Nedu's layer? There it is. Where's Nedu's layer? Okay, so there's the first one. All right, so that's it. everyone. Sims, everyone sims for all of us, apparently. Okay, next one, the Onesan. Oh man, the Onesan. That's definitely gonna be. I feel like it's both CL and me because CL is more like the supportive big sister, while I'm more of the ada ada sister kind of thing. I feel like it's both CL and myself? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? CL and me? You guys are more than welcome to, like, say your own, uh, your own spin on these things. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think it's just, I think it is just, like, CL and me. So what I'm gonna do is, let's see. I feel like what I'm gonna do is going to do this. Where's CL's icon? You two are definitely the sister type. Yeah, I think, I think it's just Neru for the cutesy big sister type. That's an interesting choice. Um, I feel like. Neru is more- I feel like Neru is more of the, uh, the Emoto. <laughs> the Emoto. The cute Emoto. Either that or as well as, like, I feel like Neru would also be, like, the anime protagonist in a Slice of Life show. <laughs> I think I remember Neru saying that they actually don't like Slice of Life. But I feel like if- if Neru had- Onesans, it would probably be me and CL. I'm more so the overly hyperactive sister? Mm, I guess. I think I, I feel like I'm the one that's like... I feel like CL and I are like Konata and Kagami from Lucky Star. And I think we all obviously know who's who. I think we know who's who, obviously. <laughs> Oh, man. I think... Yeah, I think it's safe to say that me and CL are like... Me and CL are like 
the Onne. I think it's safe to say me and Sir are the Onne sons. Both the Onne son. Onne son. <laughs> okay, so it's me and CL. Okay. Alright, the third one. Gets mad the most op often. Chat. Chat. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> um. Gets mad the most often. Me? Fuck y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Caught in 4K. <laughs> Literally. All right, who else? Just flat out? Wow, okay. I see. <laughs> wow! Caught outed in 4K! Outed in 4K! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Before we decide, like... I, I know Neru gets sometimes mad often, too. <laughs> Neru gets angry often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I guess, I guess admittedly, like, to fucking kill me for saying that. Yeah, exactly, Lyra. I was just about to say, like, if whenever Nedu gets angry, it's adorable. I was literally about to say the same thing. Like, Nedu is more like the pouty, angry, like, I am not cute kind of angry thing. Um, I feel like... She, I feel like even if she were to say, like, I'm not cute, like, pouty, it, it would just make her more adorable rather than, like, get actually gets mouthed. And me, on the other hand, I flat out just, like, <laughs> I just flat out rage. <laughs> uh, so I think it's safe to say it's just me that rages the most. So it's just like, <laughs> I'm like, I know where this is going. Okay. All right, fine. I'll put myself in the thing. Okay, I'll pu I put myself here. I put myself here. It's all good. Okay. The one that freaks out. Um. Okay, the one that freaks out the most. CL. 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 I love you, CL, but CL. CL. <laughs> CL does the most freakouts, even more than me, honestly. Like, I freak out more, too, but CL. CL does it a lot more than I do. JBN can testify? I can testify! How, do we not remember all the raid streams that I've done? <laughs> the way she freaks out! <laughs> she freaks out a lot, but I love- I still- I love CL's freakouts. They're so funny, and it's just like- so genuine and it's always a fun time like whenever something happens she's just panic mode <laughs> i think cl uh definitely i think definitely so well okay okay so how about this definitely cl but i'll put a little bit of me in it i think we both freak out the more one okay let's do let's do let's do this i'm gonna put CL here and then I'm gonna put and then I'm gonna work on and I'm gonna put my icon but half of it I think it's half me and a good chunk CL let me see if I can actually like do this let me do this real let's see if I can do this and uh, uh, like this no that actually doesn't look right I think the other side looks better okay that looks better. Yeah, so I'd say like half me and half CL. <laughs> Mostly CL and half me. Oh man. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I think I could put this up here. Where's CL? CL's right here. Okay. Okay, let's do this. Um Okay. The say so one. The quote unquote say so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, 
slowly do this and uh yeah we don't tell her we don't we don't tell her and uh yeah let's just let's go ahead and uh let's do this really quick and i'm gonna do this really really small i'm gonna do this really really small so that she doesn't see it completely and uh yeah <laughs> Be the quote unquote say so one? B? That's interesting. I, I actually would not think B right away. I actually would not think B is the quote unquote say so one. In fact, I think B is the most chaotic, probably the hidden chaotic one. <laughs> what do you guys think? Who else besides the tidy icon? <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> it's okay it's okay she doesn't need to know she does not need to know it's okay <laughs> hey at least none of the squad members are in the chat so, I'm technically safe! <laughs> You're lucky. You were see I I'm, luck I'm lucky that none of the squad members are, are looking at this stream right now. Because if they were, I'm probably gonna- I'm probably not- I'm probably gonna get blocked. <laughs> Either that or get yelled at. It's probably- mostly by Neru. Um, the quote unquote say someone like um CL is more of the oh, uh, kind of thing what do you mean I'm the quote unquote say so one <laughs> what do you mean me <laughs> name one time oh okay mostly yell that I thought you were saying I'm the quote unquote say so one and I'm like dude name one time I was quote unquote say so <laughs> Hmm, you know what? Let's call out Astra. What do you think, Astra? Who is the quote-unquote say-so one? And choose your words carefully. <laughs> Probably Neru? See Neru being the quote unquote say so one. Say so is relative. God. You say so bullshit. Wow. Wow, Nera. <laughs> I could be say so. I could be say so. I, 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 I say this now and then. And then Nero's probably showing the face, press X to doubt. <laughs> yeah, I think... Oh god, Nero's, Nero's definitely gonna kill me. And I think I'm a little too, actually. <laughs> Alright, we'll put Nero as the quote could say so one. Okay. We don't say anything. The one who- okay, so the next one. The one who gives good advice. Um... I feel like... Hmm... Who gives the good ad who gives good advice? Me? You think I give good advice? I feel like B also gives some pretty good advice too. Me as a tarot reader? You're all saying me that gives good advice? Oh, you guys are making me blush. We're <laughs> in a murder goofy voice. Oh, fucking do it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it's BK. Bunky Kong. He's arrived in the stream. You know him well. He's chilling around to be so cool. <laughs> 
I love how everyone's saying the one who gives advice and the first sort of thing they see, think is me because of the tarot reading. <laughs> how are you doing tonight, Ben Cat? Hope you're doing well. Y'all are too sweet. But yeah, like, I think when it comes to... Hmm... Honestly, I think it's... Hmm... I think Amai also gives pretty good advice too, actually. Because I've seen her... I've seen her art streams especially, and she tries to give very informative... Inf very informative uh, tips when it comes to art and clips to studio paint. At least she tries to. So I think Amai is like... The person who gives good advice. along, I guess alongside me. And I also think B is a good advice giver too. Honestly, I think... Hmm. Let's see. Aw, oh, thank you. I, I'm really glad. I'm really glad I give good advice. Even though sometimes I kind of be... I kind of say bullshit. At least I feel like I say bullshit sometimes, but that means a lot to hear, guys. Thank you. Okay, so I guess I'll give myself good advice. Okay, let's see if I can do this right. Alright. But I also think Amai has a spot for that, too. She gives pretty good advice when it comes to art. So I'll go ahead and put Amai here, too. Okay, so, and I think, I think B also, I can see, I also see B giving pretty good advice, too. Neru does also give great advice. Should I just, should I just say everybody at this point? Okay. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead. This is gonna this is gonna end up looking like the wholesome, the most wholesome tier list, and I'm living for it. All right, we'll put everybody. Come on and see all the water's fine. Actually, yeah, I think now that I think about it, like, see, I would definitely be the kind of person that gives really good advice when you least expect a moment that CL is uh, super serious about some things cause, cause we know CL is like super like energetic always having a good time but she even she knows uh, when things get real she'll say it uh, she'll say it outright hi Nib how's it going how are you doing tonight we're having some chill fun on tier list I'm doing this with my friends first thing <laughs> how you doing Nib Hope you're doing well. Okay, next one. The worst advice giver, yet people believe them. <clears throat> um, so, hmm. <laughs> the worst advice giver, yet people believe them. I, I, I love them very much, but after seeing, <laughs> after seeing a certain art stream <laughs> I, <t> <laughs> I think I think B is definitely the type of person who would actually give an advice but it's like <laughs> but it's like one of those moments where it's like you believe them when it's actually not true like B would be the type of person to lead you <laughs> lead you into one place when it's actually not true <laughs> By the way, this isn't out of like, this is out of like, you know, out of call outs. This is actually mostly for like funsies. I feel like I'm, I feel like I also give some bad advice too, actually. Like for example, do not, <laughs> do not tick, totally tickle Astra. Because that always makes him feel better. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, but yeah, just so just so I make a disclaimer, it's all in good fun. So let me see if I can clarify. Let me see if I can change that up actually. Okay. Um Yeah. People believe them and uh laugh together. Okay. You want Astro over here right now? All right, Astro, come here. You want Astro here right now? Is this what you guys want? Okay, let's see if I can. For some reason, my error is going all the way here. He's right behind me, is he? I am. You are behind me. Welcome. So here's the best advice ever. When in doubt, if Astra says anything stupid, the best advice is to tickle him. <laughs> I didn't say anything stupid yet. <laughs> At least I don't think I did. <laughs> oh, hi, Harper! <laughs> Hello, Harper. Oh, God, if you're here, the Neru's probably gonna come in soon. If not already. It's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. How are you doing tonight, Harper? <laughs> Harper's gonna be like, Ah, oh, I see. I can't wait to show this to Neru. Now he's gonna be. Now he's gonna come in and then be like, "I see." Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. For the mo, uh, uh, for like a second there, I literally say, "Oh man, they're gonna be here soon." And then I look at who, and then I look at users in chat, and then I see Naru's name. <laughs> My Neru in for freshness and safekeeping. Oh no, Neru is here. <laughs> well, one of the squad members is here. <laughs> hey, Neru is not what it looks like. <laughs> and I was like, it's not, huh? <laughs> Hi! I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die after this. Oh my god. So about that worst advice given, I think I'm gonna be... I think I'm gonna be... <laughs> why? I don't know why you're freaking out. It's called content. <laughs> By the way, Nara, you're more than welcome to like Join a call if you want to do this with me. <laughs> if you want, for shits and giggles. Impromptu collab. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, but, okay, but narrow, narrow. Real talk, real talk. Back to this, on the say-so one. On the say-so one. Oh, wait, 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 that's all right. <laughs> on the say-so one. <laughs> On the stage one, I know it's you, but a little bit of a my. <laughs> a my is the type of person who is super, super sweet, but at the same time, is she really the say so? <laughs> then again, who really is? <laughs> Amaya, I love you. Don't kill me. <laughs> Don't kill me, please. Like, big sweat. <laughs> Alright. Worst advice giver yet people believe them and left. Okay, like... The worst advice giver. Like... Hold on. They still believe and love them. Okay. I think it's definitely gonna be like a hundred bees in a 
After the hundred- after that one art soup stream... B would probably be like... The type of person who says, By the way, you can order a hundred pizzas today! And I'm like, No! <laughs> but I'll also put like... Hmm... Let's see... I feel like... When it comes to the- I, I also say it like Among Us kind of way. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, I think back at Among Us and, uh. Yeah. <laughs> I still have that story. I still have that story, Among Us, even after two years. So I think B and CL actually do give good advice, yet at the same time, they would pro also be the type of people who give bad advice, but if we still believe that. <laughs> after that Among Us, after that Among Us, never again. <laughs> I say this because of Among Us. Okay, the sweetest. I will say, definitely B is the sweetest. Definitely the enablers, yeah. I agree. But I have y'all can't y'all can't disagree. B is definitely the sweetest one. You can't deny that. B drops definitely the sweetest person. The sweetest person, to say the least. So sweet. You 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 can't you can't be angry at them. You cannot be angry at B, and it, and even if you could, it's hard. It's hard not to. Let's see. Probably, actually, I think, I think the sweetest is both B and Amai, actually. Yeah, this is true. B did get, did give other players a win twice, and you know, such a sweetheart. All right. I think, yeah, I think it's definitely B and Amai. B and Amai for sure. They're the sweetest. Definitely B and Amai. Okay. So. The gremlin. <coughs> I think we know who, I think we all know who that is. I think we all know who that gremlin is. <coughs> Wow, that cough is really bad. Oh no, I'm putting, am I putting this icon? Whatever shall I do? Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh dear. Did I, did I, did I accidentally put that in there? Mm, I guess my, my hand slipped. <laughs> my mouse just happened to move on its own. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> Man, fuck off y'all with the with those who say me as the gremlin. <laughs> look, look, even Harper can agree this one. Even Harper can agree. Even Harper can agree with that one. And Harper's Harper right now is just like it's like nonchalantly nonchalantly sips his drink. Just like, uh, I have to go somewhere. <laughs> Harper! <laughs> Harper's just like, uh, I'm gonna get going now. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> okay. Okay, does anyone else agree with Lyra that I'm also a gremlin? Mom calls you <laughs> Mama Crow called. She's gonna pick me up soon. Bye, guys. It was nice seeing you guys. <laughs> Y'all, everyone else agree with Lyra that I'm a gremlin? Trick question! Wow. Wow. Y'all think I'm a gremlin? <laughs> My god. I hate it here. <laughs> I really hate it here. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, where is my thing? Yeah? I have my moments? Huh, I see. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Then in that case, I'll do half me. Because half me? Um, but yeah, Neru is definitely the more gremlin one, for sure. Wait, why does Neru look like... Why does Neru look dark? There we go. Okay, I'll put half of me again. Half me. Wait, that's not right. There we go. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, um, I think another gremlin would be... Hmm... I feel like somebody else is a hidden gremlin. Hmm... I feel like somebody else in a Nuggy Squad is a gremlin. <clears throat> Am I? <laughs> Am I getting called out all of a sudden? Am I CL? Yeah, I can actually see CL as a gremlin. A little. I think I think CL's more like I said before, I think CL is more of a ooh kind of person. Like, I think I think she's more uh, mischief mischievous than rather than a gremlin. I think she I think she causes mischief more. I mean I stuck around with CL for quite some time even before she became a VTuber. Yeah I'll say I'll say a portion I'll say a portion a portion portion a portion of CL but she definitely causes a lot of mischief for sure. That I know. Okay, so I'll put a portion of CL. Let's see. Uh, how do I do this? I'll put... I'll put CL, a portion of CL. And then... And then Amai, too. Amai is kind of a gremlin, especially when it comes to Apex. Let's see. I think how I see it is because, like, when it comes to mischief to me, I feel like causing mischief is one thing, but being, like, full-blown gremlin, like... <laughs> like, that one is definitely a Neru. Yeah, Mai did have an emote. And like I said, her her Apex stream kind of says different. <laughs> okay. I feel like once I post this on Twitter, some people I I I, I think it's gonna be some people say, "Why am I this?" Okay, I'll put I put a hidden am I here. Oh no, trust me, Lyra. I, I know exactly about that. I was CL's victim, and I never forgot about that. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, last one. Actual simp. Who is the actual simp? And don't say it's me just because I said it. Yeah, but Lyra, you've held you've held that recently. I've held it for two years. <laughs> it's me. Put me there. You know what? Actually, you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. <clears throat> it's me. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Neru, I have an idea. Hold on. I have an idea. I have the most, I have the most genius idea ever. Hang on. I have an idea. Okay. 
Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is gonna be the most cursed shit that I'm doing right now. <laughs> there we go. It's me and Ned who fuse together. I feel like that's like a, a few like Dragon Ball fusion, ha! Huh? <laughs> it's Nara. <laughs> okay, actual simp. Yeah, I think it's definitely me and Neru. Um, where is my thing? No, nope, that's not it. Okay, here he is. Hang on, hang on. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, nar. God. Alright, ready, 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 ready. <laughs> oh, man, that's so good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. By the way, B drew this lovely picture of me and Astra. So I just used that as an icon. There we go! <laughs> there we go, guys! <laughs> We did it! We got it! We got this tier list done! With special guest Astra! <laughs> oh, that's so good. We did it, guys. We made it. <laughs> Nodder's 100% accurate tier list. Let's go. <laughs> that doesn't count. It's my rules. My rules. My thing. <laughs> All right, we got we got the Nuggy Squad tier group. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these here, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this on this layer here. At least I hope so. I think. Uh, there. I think that's the weird one. Yeah, there we go. Yay! Okay. We got this done. I'll go ahead and I'll, of course, obviously I'm gonna upload this on Twitter later. So yeah, let's go ahead and create this one next. Hold on, let me, let me go ahead and take this out. Here we go, guys. It's the boys time. <laughs> Ask just a little like, oh no, I'm in danger. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and see what I can do here. All right, guys, this is the boys RPG group. If they were in an RPG, what would they be is the big question. Hold on, I'm gonna put this here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna sort this out in the, in the most way possible. And then let's put Eventide here. Okay. Okay. Is Eventide actually in the chat? No, he's not. Okay, I thought he was for some reason. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, before we get- Okay, okay. I guess we'll start off with Leroy Jenkins. Like, who would be the Leroy Jenkins? Who would be the Leroy Jenkins? And Astro better be watching, because this is him now. <laughs> Definitely Nick. Everyone's- I love how everyone's saying Nick. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we're, we're putting Nick here, huh? Okay. Okay, so it's everybody is saying Nick. Since everyone is saying Nick. <laughs> I love how everyone... It's like unanimous Nick right here. It's so much unanimous. It's like his own icon right here. Okay, so Nick is the Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Okay, so who would be who would be the leader? Who's the who would be the leader when it comes to the RPG boys group? I feel like it would be either Eventide or Astra. I'm leaning a little more towards um I'm leaning a little more towards Eventide because 
he tends to think of the strategies and he tries to he tries to be a level-headed leader which reminds me there is uh i think there is a level headed the most level-headed so i think it's either astra or eventide it's one of those two Yeah, Eventide, Eventide. Everyone saying Eventide? I think in this case, it might be mostly Eventide, but sometimes Astra. Yeah, I think, I think it's, I think this is another half and half kind of thing. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I'm thinking like Eventide and Astro would be like half and half when it comes to being the leader. Like Eventide would be would would be the most reliable while Astra has the brains of that of that moment. So I'm gonna put half Astra and half Eventide. Okay. So I'm gonna do half Astra and half Eventide. Okay. I think that would I think that would make sense. Okay. All right, we got that, and we're gonna put Evan Tide here. Evan Tide and Astra. Okay. Let's see. I think we'll put Evan Tide and Astra here. So they would probably share the leadership. Okay. The most level-headed. Hmm. It might be a case of both again. Because yeah, Astra is definitely a little more level-headed. But even we know Astra freaks out a little at times. Hmm. I think this is, this is definitely another case of either Eventide or Astra as the most level-headed. Would you guys say Astra or Eventide? Hmm. Thunking, thunking. What do you think? Would it be Eventide or Astra? Or is it another is it another half and half scenario? Would this so if they refuse, would it be Astra Tide? Actually, that sounds kind of cool. Not gonna lie, <laughs> Astra Tide. That almost sounds like a shipping name too. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Don't draw shipping art of them, please. Astra Tide sounds like a laundry detergent. Hey, it could sound pretty cool. Hmm. I feel like... I feel like this is another half and half situation. Astride or Evanstra. <laughs> God. Yeah, I think in this case, it might be another half and half scenario. I'd use it on my clothes. Astra Tide. It might be the most, like... It might be, like, another both scenario again. Okay, so next one. Uh, screams at a giant monster chasing them. That definitely sounds like Nick and Brandon. Brandon, too. A little, a little more towards Brandon. Like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Would it be Brandon and Nick? Or just either or or both. I feel like it's... I think it's definitely Brandon and or Nick. I think it's more like... It's both? Yeah? You guys think it's both? What do you think, Astra? Brandon and, and Nick or... Y'all saying both? Okay. <laughs> 
All right, we'll put Brandon and Nick. Fully Brandon and Nick, not half and half. This is full. I think we all, if most of us remember the Valheim streams, they both freaked out. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and put Evan Tide and Nick in here. Okay. Okay. So we got Evan Tide, and Evan Tide, we got Brandon and Nick. Okay, the next one. Who would be the one to say, this is fine? <laughs> like, the, like the meme, the dog meme with the fire. Like, this is fine, even though everything is going horribly wrong. Who would be the one of the boys to say that? <laughs> Nick, probably. <laughs> Would it be Nick? <clears throat> hmm. Ah, this one is tough. Cause I feel like all of them say it in a way, but at the same time, like, I feel like Brandon also says this is fine. And then the way, I think it's just, I think the way, it's the way all of them say it. Like, when Astra says it, he just says, this is fine. Where Evan Tide is just like, no, this is fine. This is totally fine. And then Nick would be like, hey, this is fine. Don't worry about it. And then Brand is just a casual, this is fine. It's all good. Like, it's just the way they, the way they say it says like a whole new story it's really tough and like <clears throat> like if there was a situation where in an rpg where things go horribly horribly long horribly wrong that it's like nick and brandon would be the ones screaming if a giant monster comes chasing them but then who's the one that said, this is fine, this is totally fine, when everything is all going to hell? Like, it's basically like a JRPG parody, when you think about it. Actually, the boys would make a, would make a JRPG. So it's just like... Eventide? We're saying Eventide is the one that says this is fine? Hmm. I feel like this is something I would definitely discuss with Astra. <laughs> hey Astra, wanna do this for fun with me? <laughs> He's like, I kinda don't. <laughs> do you wanna do this for fun? Oh my god. Yeah, he's saying no. You could just say no. <laughs> Astra just wants to look at Reddit is what it is. Okay. Okay, then who do you think is the one would say this is fine the most? I'm just staring. Then who would you, who, would you, would you say Eventide? Or would you say, like, it's, it's probably, like, a lot of them. We're saying Eventide? Okay, we're saying Eventide here. Alright, so it looks like Eventide is, is the winner here. Okay. All right. Who would be the kind healer? The kind healer. Who would be the healer of this, the boys RPG group? And what I mean by the quote unquote kind healer, I mean like the type of person who would heal, but then eventually forgets 
Like they get like they get distracted and things go horribly wrong to the point where the party starts dying and then they were just remembered. Oh shit, I'm the healer. Panic heals. I think that would be either, like... It would probably be either Brandon or Astra. I think a little more... I, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards Astra. Because at least with Brandon, like... Brandon just plain old... Like, Brandon just plain old freaks out overall, and he's aware. But Astra, on the other hand, like... He'll start healing... And then looks away for a minute to... <laughs> Astra. Like, Astra's the kind of person who's just like, I'll heal you, but then after that, y'all got this, right? Looks away, either plays with his phone or looks at something. And then turns back, everything is... Everything's going so badly. And then Astra's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Like, don't everybody say Astra! <laughs> Everyone is saying Astra. It's almost, un it's another unanimous thing to where Astra's just like, this is, this is my life now. So Astra would be the quote-unquote kind healer. Alright. Who's the reliable tank? It's probably Eventide. I don't think this even needs to be ass, actually. It's gonna be Eventide. I think y'all can agree with me that Eventide's definitely the reliable tank. Y'all can agree with this, right? Astra- uh, Astra. Eventide is the reliable tank. <laughs> yup, yup. <laughs> Alright. The DPS that craves for violence. So I'm just gonna do... I'm just gonna do this. Hold on. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this real quick and, uh... Yeah. Let's, uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I... Is my finger slipping again? Oh, no. This is, like... It's almost... It's almost convenient. <laughs> It's almost obvious for how I, it's almost it's almost obvious of how the party goes. If this was an RPG, mother, I crave for violence. <laughs> all right, the next one H hoards all the loot. Who would be the type of person who hoards all the loot? Who would be the loot hoarder? Like they keep track of every item in an RPG. They would be the type of person who would grab a huge backpack and stuff everything. Potions, herbs, weapons, equipment, you name it. Even rare items. Rare items, money, you name it. Anything. They will stuff it in a bag. Astra? Freaking Astra! I'd say Astra, but Astra spends all the money! Hardy's money in the shops! I feel like that would- actually, you know what? I think that would be Astra, actually. <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of freaking Astinian from 14. Like, d like, you could trust him with loot, but don't trust him with money. Okay, so we'll say that, we'll say it's, uh, Astra and a half. Half Astra. We'll say half, oh god, wrong one. No, I don't have anyone. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this out here. And then we'll put out Astra. Where is Astra? Astra's right here. We'll make a half Astra. Okay. 
Wow, this RPG is starting to become pretty juicy here. The plot twist. Okay, so let's have Astra. All right. The one who makes the most money. I feel like Brandon is a little resourceful too. Like, Astra definitely hoards all the loot. Um, but I also think, I think Brandon might be the, I think, I feel like Brandon could make a lot of money for everyone. Like, you have Eventide as the most reliable tank. You have Nick as the crazy DPS. How is he with saving? Uh, hmm. Brandon and saving money. Well, we definitely know we wouldn't depend on Nick for <laughs> money when it comes to RPGs. I guess then again, like... Eventide is more like... He makes a decent amount of money, but I think- I feel like he's also the type of person who would be responsible for finances. So I don't- I think Eventide's more like the responsible one when it comes- especially when it comes to money. Like, he would decide what's best- he would suggest what's best to buy, what's, uh, not worth, uh, getting, that kind of deal. So, I feel like he would give the advice rather than making the money. Um, Astra is more like the loot hoarder. Lords hoards like everything. Um, but when it comes to like making money, well, I, I guess Astra does make a bit of money too. Can make a bit most money, especially when he's a crafter. He could probably make it, but I feel like he's also the type of person who would spend it all in one place. Um, so he's more like half frugal, but also <laughs> have the type to actually spend money. I feel like with Brandon, like, he's more like the calm and collected uh, DPS or a tank. But then at the same time, it's like when he makes the money... I think he's like the type- I feel like he's the type of person who, in an RPG who would save it on a rainy day. Hmm. Have a good night, Dom. Thank you so much for joining. Like... I think Brandon would be that kind of person. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brandon on like, somewhere, somewhere far away, Brandon's just like, Oh, you don't know me at all. Um, let's see. So, maybe a little bit of Astra, but also half Brandon. I think half Brandon and a little bit of Astra would make the most money. Because I feel like Brandon would also be, um... Super reliable when it comes to making money. Like, he would be the type of person who would be, like, going on a quest. And then completes it in no time flat. And people just rely on him. Half Brandon. And tiny bit of Astra. Let's do that. Okay. So. Yeah, it gets the odd jobs, exactly. Okay, so, pacifist. That one is kind of obvious. That's not even a question to ask at all. That is definitely not a question. Definitely Astra. I mean, the man said himself he would be the pacifist. He doesn't want to fight. He just wants the craft. Just Astra. Okay. The next one is... Makes a long monologue about the power of friendship. Hmm. I think it 
it's I feel like it's mostly Eventide, but a but at the same time, like Brandon would probably help join in. But then again, I, I also feel like Brandon's just like the super casual one, like, lead the way, leader. Like, Astra hands down? Astra making a monologue about the power of friendship? I feel like he would turn, I feel like he would just say, I feel like he would just like make a parody out of that. Like, he could be like the type of person to say, Oh, I'm supposed to make a long monologue about the power of friendship? That's always a TV trope, by the way. Don't even bother saying that shit. It's always so boring. It's such a TV trope, TV trope, TV trope. But the power of friendship is always a TV trope, TV trope, TV trope. <laughs> Did I mention that the power of friendship is a TV trope? Nope. I No, I guess I'll say it again. The power of friendship is just a TV trope. <laughs> I'll say it one more time. The power of friendship is just a TV trope. <laughs> Astra's just like, man. <laughs> man, I'm just having a fun time right now, but but right now I feel kind of offended. <laughs> it's just a TV trope. After, I, I feel like after tonight, I'm just gonna say, after to our, Astra, our friendship is magic. Your friendship is a TV trope. <laughs> it's always in every other anime bullshit. It always seems to win over anything. <laughs> I feel like the next time Astra does the boy stream, he's gonna be doing the whole TV trope joke on purpose. Just to make up- just to get back at me. <laughs> guys, don't you know- don't you know, guys? The power of friendship is just a TV trope! <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. I- I- I have an- you know what? I have an idea. I have the perfect idea. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If we're putting- okay, I definitely think Eventide would make a genuine friendship monologue. I definitely think it's Eventide who would make the genuine friendship monologue. Like, he would definitely be the type of person to do this. And then, I'm gonna make- I'm gonna put in Astra. But, hold on, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it. Hang on. I'm gonna put Astra on top. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay. Hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait, wait. TV trope, TV trope, TV trope, TV trope, TV trope, TV trope, TV motherfucking trope. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do this. Perfect. <laughs> there we go, guys. There we go. TV trope, TV trope, TV trope, TV trope. <laughs> All right. Who in the boys would have a tragic backstory? Who would be the who who would have who would an RPG would have a tragic backstory? I feel like I don't think it's Brandon because I feel like Brandon's would be just go with the flow kind of backstory. He's just he's just tagging along kind of deal. Um 
Astra. Mm, I could see. I could kind of see Astra having a tiny bit of tragic backstory, but most of the time he's just like, eh, it happens. I'm just here. I'm just here. Don't mind me. So I guess it would be between Eventide and Nick. Like, I feel like both Eventide and Nick would probably have the uh, the backstory where someone they someone they truly care for died and now they're fighting for them kind of deal, or they're fighting for their loved ones that uh, that sacrificed themselves for them kind of deal. So it might, I think it might be either Eventide or Nick or both. What do you guys think? Do you think it's Eventide or Nick or is it both of them? Because I definitely feel like Astra and Brandon are more like, we're just tagging along. We don't really care. Would it be both or either or Eventide or, uh, Even not Eventide or Nick? It's tough because Nick and Eventai both have protag energy. Right? It is kind of tough. They both do have protagonist energy. Hey, Face Daniel. Yeah, we're, we're doing fun tier lists. We did one on the Nuggy Squad not too long ago. I think it might be both. Not half and half, but I think both of them have their own kind of tragic backstory in some way. So I think it might be like... I think it might be better if I just do both. So it might be Nick and Eventide that would have a tragic backstory. Okay. Oh, man. You know what I should do? I should make... I feel... I wouldn't... I, I should totally make, like, a Persona Constellations tier list. Like, who would be who? I think that would be so much fun. Okay. Alright, one more. One more. One more. Who would be the one that betrays the party for their own reasons? Who would be the betrayer of the party? Like, if there was a moment where an intense scene happened... Okay, so picture this. There's a, a huge battle where the antagonist is this close to defeating the whole party. Like, they're too powerful. But what happens when someone suddenly stands up and starts turning their back against them? Who would be the... who? Which of the boys would be that type of person? Who would be the one to make, like, a smirk and say, Sorry, but I have my own reasons. Which of the boys? I don't think it's- I don't think it's Eventide. However, however, it would be a really, really, hear me out. It would be, I think it would be a really, really cool twist if, if Eventai was the one who betrayed the party, especially with how reliable he is, with how, how much of a tragic backstory. But I don't think it would be Eventai, although it would be a cool story. It would be a really cool story, and he would have a motive too, like, if someone... We usually play co-op games, but if we ever played something like Among Us... Like... Okay, so... This is actually kind of cool. So... What if, like... Yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking, Nera. I was gonna say that, Nera. Like... Eventide... He wouldn't actually, like... 
betray and lead them in the dust, but he's more like the type of person. Oh, no! Dummy! Wait, why am I? Okay, there it is. I was like, Milu, dummy, Milu, dummy, Milu, dummy, Milu, dummy, Milu, dummy, Milu, dummy, Milu, dummy. Thank you so much for the raids. Did you guys finally finish your donathon? How was how was everything? I love these BBs. Please, please give them all kinds of love, especially those two because they finally hit their dono goal. They fit, they hit their dono goal and they are going to mate soon and I can't wait. <laughs> They're finally done. I'm so happy. You deserve all the rest and you deserve all all the celebrations that's happened. Thank you so much again for the raids. I'm glad you guys had a fun time. Uh, I am doing a tier list and we're right now we're talking about like which of the four boys would be the type of person who betrays the party for their own reasons. Like who would be that person? And we were just talking about how like uh, maybe Eventide would be the type of person who would betray. However, not for the reasons we think. Brandon? You think Brandon? A hundred percent Brandon? <laughs> oh, man. I love how, like, Brandon might. Oh, my God. Oh, this is getting juicy. So then, like, but he would do the double cross, double, double cross. Oh man, Brandon. <laughs> Captain Krabs, wow, that's a triple raids. Captain Krabs, thank you so much for raiding. Wow, so many love. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. My name is Aura. I am one have a star cross channel. I'm doing a tier list for fun of friends. <laughs> I hope you had a good stream as well. Oh, you were playing Cora Keeper. Hi, Uni. How you doing? I'm doing a fun tier list, and we're just about to say, like, <laughs> like, Pola Zealous, he would definitely would pretend to betray us, but then come back later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that would be good at Brandon, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, we're doing a fun tier list for friends. And I'm going to do more in just a bit because we're about to finish this part. We finished, we're about to finish two of them already. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone's having a comfy, fun time. So please give all the big loves to Captain Krabs, Melon Rose, and Dommy Wolf. I love them so much. They are super sweet. They are super talented. They deserve all the love and all, all those, all the, all the subs, all the viewership, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna leave a lurk and go to sleep, but this is super fun. So if you get any funny ideas, you could totally tell me. Yeah, 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 for sure. Please, please, Mel. Mel, get some rest. Seriously, you've been doing this for so long. Please take all the rest you need and have a good night. Please, please give some, please get some rest. You, you, you did such an amazing job. Also, those of you who need to, who are curious, Mel also made a bunch of Furbies, long Furbies, myself included. Actually, I think I'll put one, I think I'll put mine up right now, actually, just for, you know. I'll put it on just for Mal. Give me one sec. Where is my Furbay? Furbay, Furbay, Furbay. There's Furbay. Okay, let's put Furbay up here. Yeah, let's put Furby, because why not? No, Furby, get in here. Ah, you know what? He'll block my... He can put him... He can be my little charm tonight. There we go. Nighty time! All right, no problem, Krabs. Thank you so much again for, uh, for the raid. I hope you have a good night's rest. Thank you so much, guys. Big love. Okay, so I so I think we can I think most of us can agree Brandon. So partial Brandon. Actually, probably a little bit towards Brandon. So sorry for being late, JBN. Don't don't feel sorry for being late. Like you come in whenever whenever you can. Don't feel sorry. You're totally Gucci. And plus, you can watch the VOD anytime. It's all Gucci. But yes, we finished another tier list. Look at that. We did the boys. <laughs> so right now we have the leaders, Eventide and Astra. Nick would be the Leroy Jenkins. And then you have Eventide and Astra again as the most level-headed. Uh, Nick and Brandon screams at a giant monster chasing them. 
Eventai would be, this is fine. Astra would be the quote-unquote kind healer. Uh, Eventide as the reliable tank. Nick as the DPS that craves for violence. Uh, half Astra hoards all the loot. Uh, Brandon, half Brandon makes the most money. And then you have a little bit of Astra, but don't count on him to hold up your money. Um, Astra is 100% the pacifist. Uh, Eventide would make a mo long monologue about the power of friendship and a portion of Astra, but Astra would be like, would be the parody version, like TV trope, TV trope, TV trope. Um, it is a toss up between Nick and Eventide with, that would have a tragic backstory. They would, ha uh, something would have happened that motivated them to like, you know, protect others kind of deal. And then you have Brandon, betrays the party for their own reasons. <laughs> Brandon would be the type of person who's like, eh, I just felt like it. And then we have, we have the, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go ahead and uh, let's save these icons first. And then we'll get, and then we'll put, we'll show the Nuggy Squad one. Okay, hold on. Let's put the boys RPG here. And then, oh, wait, where's my, oh, where's my Brandon icon? Hold on. Brandon, where are you? Brandon. Okay, so let's put Brandon in here. Okay, so that's the boys tier group, those of you who missed out. And then we have the Nuggy Squad. We have the Nuggy Squad here in this tier list. Yeah, yeah. So that's our tier list so far here. And I will definitely post them on Twitter, on the tweets, so that everybody can see them and have fun with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see if I can actually, can I actually show this one? Let me see if I can. No, I probably can't. Okay, no problem. All right, so I did this next one based on the Friendship Corner. Um, so let's do, let's see if we can create something for fun. There we go. Okay. So I'm doing this for fun. I'm not, I'm not going to do the S tier, A, B, C, D tier. Cause I, I, I personally don't like these kinds of tiers. I want to do something fun based on the friends that I have so, uh, here so far. I will obviously probably upload them more, especially if people have like someone that I didn't, that I forgot. So yeah. I planned this one too. Yes, exactly. Everyone is S tier. Okay. So I'm thinking we should make, I'm thinking, hmm. I'm thinking we should make a, hmm. I think we should make a Danganronpa themed, like who would be the survivor? Who would be the murderer kind of thing? So I'm going to go ahead and change that real quick. Hang on. Uh, Danganronpa. Uh, scenario. Okay. Let's go ahead and add that. Okay. So, uh, I would do, uh, the survivor of the game. <laughs> the survivor of the game. Um, almost gets away with it but gets caught by the protagonist. Okay. I feel like I should definitely add a new one. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Add a row above, perfect, okay. Let's go ahead and add some rows here. Okay. So let's see the protagonist. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the protagonist and then the protagonist with the Ahok. Oh. I just realized. <laughs> I think one or two people. The Nagito Komaeda? Okay, 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 okay. The Nagito Komaeda. Okay, Harper said it. You realize you're here too, right, Harper? <laughs> the Nagito Komaeda. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna do the Nagito Komaida. Okay. 
We got the protagonist, the Nagito Kamaida. Okay, the survivors or survivors of the game. Me pointy at his eye. He. <laughs> okay. Um. Gets killed. Gets mur. Gets gets murdered. Gets murdered by someone. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, the, hmm, let's see, uh, would be executed by Monokuma. Okay, so we got, gets executed by Monokuma. So sorry. Okay, and then we have, uh, wow, I have the hearts, I just realized. I don't know why I put the hearts. It's me, that's my eye. Okay, so survivors of the game, the protagonist, Nagito Komaeda. Okay. Uh not nine. <laughs> uh let's see, let's see, let's see. Um deducts the evidence. Okay. Finds the evidence and deducts everything based on what they know during class trial. Okay. So we have that, and then what What else do we have? What else would we have? Okay, so we got so who would be executed by Monokuma, gets murdered by someone. Um, the Nagito Komaira. Uh... Let's see. Um, hmm. Let's see who else would be. What else do we have? What else would we have? Like, I feel like there's something missing. Survivors of the game. Um. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ultimate despair. Who would be the ultimate despair? Let's put that as the red. And then we'll make this more white the survivor of the game the survivors okay ultimate despair okay let's go ahead and put up ultimate despair and then we could put i feel like there's one more there's one more there's one more um let's see uh makes a sacrifice for everyone to survive. Makes a sacrifice. Okay. If you if you play Danganronpa 2, you know exactly or Danganronpa V3, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Also, pardon the helicopter. That's totally not sus at all. Okay. So we have a couple of people, but if you thought, if you can think of like um, mostly VTubers. Astro, this goes to you too. Um, but if you know some of our friends that we know that we feel like we could add, let me know. That includes if you know, like, anybody that we know, then we can add them as well. Okay. So that said, we will, we, I, I could definitely, like, upload some people. If you know people, let me know. And I'll be happy to upload them. Okay. So, Let's go ahead and get started. Um, what would CL be? What would CL be? She has a bit of the Ahoge, but, um, hmm. What would CL be? She's a Valkyrie. So I feel like she definitely has experience of like protecting others. Um, maybe I should add some, maybe I should add another thing. So it's like, uh, Let's see. Let's do... Would... 100% protect their friends. There we go. Let's make that dark blue, maybe? No, I feel like that's already dark blue. Darn it. Okay, this one it is then. Okay. So we have that. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, Emu would be a good one. Emu I could probably do. Tane? Hmm. Oh, Tane would be a good one. Corvi? Yeah, Corvi. Uh, Nabarunek Kai? Maybe. Anyone from Fuatopia? Hmm. I could probably add them as individuals, not because they're Fuatopia. I don't want to do like, you know, I don't want to just like add them like, you know. Emu I could probably do. And Corvi. Emu and Corvi I could probably do. Alright, but what would CL be? What do you guys think CL would be? What do you think CL would be? And this time I, add, I can only add like one place for them. What do you guys think CL would be? I feel like she would definitely be the type of person who would 100% protect their friends. I feel like she's definitely the friend protector. Like, you know how, um, if anyone's played Danganronpa V3, um, you know that, um, what's his name? And he always says it too. He always says his name. Uh, Kaito Momota. Yeah, Kaito Momota. From Danganronpa V3. I feel like that's CL right there. Like, she would be the optimist type. And she would happily... But I feel like she would also make a sacrifice to protect their friends. To protect her friends too. I feel like she would either be like... 100% protect their friends. And make a sacrifice. Like, I feel like she wouldn't let anything happen to them. And if it means like... If it means costing her her life in order for everyone to, like, survive, I feel like she would be the type of person who would do that. Hmm. What do you guys think? What do you think Sia would be? What do you think Sia would be, guys? Hmm. Would she be the the one who makes a sacrifice, or a hundred percent, or just overall hundred percent protect their friends? Hmm. That's a game I need to have you play sometime, Astra. Um, if it helps, Astra, if you've played, um, you've played enough nine nine nine, right? I guess you could say it's. Kind of like that. So just think of a bit of that and with um And with Phoenix Wright, but with high school if that makes any sense So it's like someone dies and then We find that we investigate who did it and go through a class trial kind of thing Okay So I believe I think we could- I think I'll put CL in... I think CL would be... Let's see. What did I miss? We're doing a Danganronpa scenario tier list maker based on our friends. And right now we're going over which CL would be. I feel like CL would be 100% protect their friends or make a sacrifice. Like, you know, on a... On a typical fourth trial, usually someone makes a sacrifice. And I'm thinking CL would be either 100% protect their friends or make a sacrifice. Hmm. Okay. I think for now we can play like 100% protect their friends. Okay. So let's see, uh, B drops. Oh, sacrifice? You think CL would be the sac makes a sacrifice? <laughs> uh, what would B drops do? I feel like B drops would like I feel like B drops would like be the type who would look into the evidence 
and deduct everything based upon what they know during the class trial. I feel like B-drops would be like helping out the protagonist kind of deal. That said, I could also see B as like one of the survivors. But at the same time, he could but then he could also be like the type who also gets away with it. Uh, almost gets away with it, but gets caught by the protagonist. I feel like they would be so clever. Hmm. Hmm. Knowing the amount of time she blackflakes off the stage in Final Fantasy XIV. Yes, that's not the book, right? <laughs> Makes a sacrifice for CL. All right, let's see. Um, I think we should definitely um put B in. Hmm. I think B, I think this fits B right there. I think this is B. B just would definitely be finding the evidence and deducts everything based on what they know during the class trial. All right, Amai. Amai would definitely be Amaya would probably be 100% protect their friends. But I could also see her being... I could also see her being a clever antagonist, too. Like, she'd be the type of person who probably get almost get away with it, but then she gets caught by the protagonist. Like, I feel like... like you guys know Dun uh, Hear me out, hear me out. You guys know uh, the third trial of Danganronpa 2, right? Like, if Amai was uh, a culprit, she would probably be the type of person who could make a very convincing story enough to have everyone else turn against the protagonist and almost get away with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Amai could also- I could see Amai being 100% protect her friends, but I could also see her as the type of person who almost gets away with it, but gets caught by the protagonist. <laughs> like, she could probably make- She could probably make a very convincing story of why she's not the culprit. And then all of- and then a lot of us would, like, turn our backs against the protagonist for a moment. But then- but then, unfortunately, that would be a moment where, like... I was trying not to say the name due to spoilers, but I guess then again, I kind of did say, like, a little bit. Like, I, all I said was the third trial. I didn't say the name. I didn't want to say too much due to spoilers. But yes, that's kind of the idea. So I think, like, hmm, I think that would be kind of like, I think that would be like something Amai would do in a Danganronpa scenario. Okay, Neru. Neru would be the protagonist. <laughs> Neru could be the protagonist. But she could also work out as, like, finds the evidence, deducts everything with B. But I could also see Neru as the protagonist. Neru would be that kind of person. <laughs> I feel like Neru would also be the make a model like, Hi, I'm Furiko Neru. You're probably wondering why I'm in this situation. Well, let me explain to you with my crazy ahar ahoge. <laughs> See her as a survivor? I could definitely see Nero as a survivor too. And if the, and if she's the protagonist, she could probably be a she'll likely be a survivor of the game. But yeah, I could see her as I could see Nero as a survivor too. Too bad I can't do like in between. I wish I could. I could probably in a Photoshop, but at the same time, unfortunately I can't, so I have to choose one. I could do an alignment chart. Okay. Oh, and there's me. It's me! What would 
I be? be uh... I feel like I could see myself survive kind of like uh, kind of like what's his face from Danga Rubble one the clairvoyant I forgot his name but I could kind of see myself being a survivor you're too hot to die! So were other people, and look what happened to them! Hmm. I would probably... See, the thing is, is like... Hmm. Yasuhiro, thank you. Yasuhiro, thank you, thank you. Yeah... If you guys think I could survive, then I could put myself there. Alright, we got Harper! Harper. What would Harper be? That's what makes Dong and Ropa so far. You don't, you don't have plot armor? This is true. This is true. Alright, Harper, you're next. What will Harper's fate be? Harper's too cute to die. Hmm. I feel like Harper would also join B on finding the evidence and deduct everything based on what they know during the class trial. I feel like Harper would probably be good as that too. Hmm. Executed by Monokuma? Oh no! <laughs> Executed by Monokuma! I'd say something stupid and be killed by the bear. Oh god. <laughs> so what you're saying, Harper, is that you would be executed by Monokuma? Is that what you're trying to say? Is that what you're trying to say, Harper? You would be killed by Monokuma? Executed by Monokuma? The problem is, a lot of these characters are too sweet or too, like, nice to die. But unfortunately, they end up getting loose. It's Danganronpa. <laughs> what would Harper's execution be called? The Dirge of the Raven? Um... I know there's a... I forgot... Oh, man, it's been so long since I read Edgar Allan Poe's, uh, sonnets. But I feel like it'd be something as uh, symbiotic as the Edgar Allan Poe titles for Harper's execution. Okay. We got the Rei Zayaki. Telltale Heart, yeah! Hmm. I love Ray, but I could see someone killing Ray too in a dog on Ropa scenario. Ray is the doggy toe. Ray is the doggy toe. The cask of Antilodondo. Oh my God! You guys think he would be like Komaeda? Hang on, hang on. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. I have an idea. Nagito Kumaeda. So those of you who don't know who Nagito Kumaeda is, let's see if I can do, uh... Let's see if I can do this. Hold on. I'll try not to post too much spoilers on it, on this one. Hold on one sec. Let me cut this out real quick. I'm in just chatting anyway, so it's fine. Hold on. Let's see. Nagito Komaeda. I'm Nagito Komaeda. Nice to meet you. Ultimate lucky student. Are you okay? Let's see. It appears we're getting close to the final stage. No, that's wrong. So you're saying that Ray is that kind of person? 
So you're saying that Ray is that kind of person? I get stuck in the brick wall and fucking die because Monokuma comes through a fucking wrecking ball. Psychopaths. So y'all think that Ray's the Ray Zayaki would be the Nagito Kumaeda. Yeah, you could. I, yeah, that's the thing. I could see him getting murdered too. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Ray would probably be the kind of person who gets murdered by someone, but what if? It, but what if? What if it was Harper? What if it was like a similar case scenario as Danganronpa two? Like, um, like. Neru would be in like a very awkward scenario and then Rei would be like I have to do this. I have to leave no matter what happens. And then Harper ends up risking his own life for Neru to go on for it. That kind of thing. And then Harper and then that would explain why Harper got executed by Monokuma. What if that were the case scenario? <laughs> Ray's gonna be killing Ray's gonna be like why am I the one dead okay we got Setsuna Setsu 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 I feel like Setsu would definitely be hmm I can see Setsuna um hmm Setsuna would be... Mm, he's a doctor, so... I could see him being a survivor, but at the same time, it's... it's. I think it's because... I think it would be a scenario where it's because he's a doctor, he could become an, a huge target on the back... A huge target in the back, too. Like, he would be the kind of person to, like, watch his back because he knows that he's going to be a huge target because, due to his role as a doctor. Well, particularly a plague doctor, but he is a doctor, so. Um, I don't think Setsuna would mur- I don't think Setsuna would be in the same case as Amai. I don't think that would be the case. I feel like Setsuna would, like... I think- I could see Setsuna try to protect their friends, too. Um... I wouldn't say the first trial in Danganronpa 1. I think it's more like, um, hmm. I feel like it's more of Kyoko Kirigiri kind of, more like Kyoko Kirigiri kind of role. Like, um, like I could see someone trying to frame Setsu. But then like, and but then Setsu also knows that he is a target. So he tries to like, you know, handle things on his own or try not to like get too close to anyone because he doesn't want to cause any stress or any problems so I feel like Setsu would 100% protect his friends even if it means like separating himself I feel like Setsu would be that type of person who does, does that okay next one we have Matcha Matcha hmm Hmm. Matcha could probably be... Um... Hmm. I could see Matcha as a survivor. Matcha, I think Matcha could be the... Sur I think Matcha could be a survivor. It'd be a similar case scenario. It'd be like a scenario where, like, um... Where... She tries to- she sticks with Setsu as long as possible. But then, like... This takes back to what I said about Setsu doing things on his own. In order to protect people. So I could see Matcha being like a survivor. So Matcha could be a survivor with me and Neru. Um... Mostly Trial 4? Trial 4. Setsu's case would technically be t trial five. So I can see Matcha being a survivor. Okay. 
And then we have Astra. Astra would be Kamaeda. I could see Astra being Kamaeda. Astra's definitely a Kamaeda. He would definitely be the type of person who would be like... I mean, he could also deduct everything, but like Astra is also the type of person who's just like, okay, prove it. Like, I could see him being a twisted, uh, like, rush. I could see him doing, like, Russian roulettes and all that, too. No second thought. I did make a bit of a second thought. I almost made him here. Okay. Alright. So, Dami. Dami Wolf. What would Dami be? Dami. Hmm. I could kind of see him being one of the badass ultimate despair. Mostly because, like, he could definitely be. I could see him being, like, a badass kind of antagonist. But also be, like, be within the group for a long one. Oh yeah, Dami would also protect her friend, his friends too, because he's a mercenary. Dami could probably fit both roles really nicely, honestly. But yeah, Dami would probably Dami could also def could also protect his uh, friends too. Dami protect, Dami protect, or Dami ultimate despair. Choices, choices. Of course I know he's a Doberman. He's a he's my doggo cousin. But like I say, like he could totally I think he could totally fit both roles really nicely. Doberman protect? Doberman protect then. Okay. And then we have Milu. Mel and Rose. What would Mel be? Mel? Um. Oh man. I could kind of see Mel. I could see Mel deducting the evidence based on what they know during a class trial with B as well. I could see Mel pulling some really clever things. I could see Mel doing that. Mel would. I think Mel would be the type of person who would find the evidence. And deduct everything based on what they know. I could definitely see Mel doing that. Okay. So. Uh, I have most of the stuff so far. But yeah, I can definitely... I can definitely see that. Okay. So. I'm gonna go ahead and upload a couple more people real quick. Okay. Give me one moment. I'm gonna... Add some peeps real quick. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, okay. Okay. So we got this one. Oh, Destiny. I need to, I need to get a I need to get a pick of destiny. Oh boy. Okay. Fast play gamer or maybe guess what gamer art? Yeah. Cosplay gamer. Okay. I think Oh yeah, I could definitely see Destiny being in a Danganronpa uh scenario. Okay, let me get Destiny in there actually. Destiny Klein. Okay. Let's do Destiny. Destiny Klein. Okay, Destiny Klein is added. Uh, who else? Hmm, Emu maybe. Could put Emu there. Will there be one of the Lumini family? Maybe. I just don't know how I would put a Luminite in like a tier list though. Because I love all the Luminites. Okay. Who else would be the type of person? Who else would be the type? Hmm. Oh, I know. Okay. Let me 
Let me add, uh... Yo? Yeah, exactly. It would be chat, basically. Alright. I'm gonna see if I can do that. Oh! Okay, I got I got a couple of people. I got Emu, I got... I'm gonna put Citrus, I'm gonna put Maven. Let's see. Who else? I got Destiny in. Uh, who else would be? Who else would be Gucci, actually? Uh, let's do... Hmm... Any closer friends that I have? Oh, Mira. Mira, Mira. Oh, Mira would be a good one. Mira, Mira. Oh, man. Mira would be... Oh, Mira's gonna be... Mira would be so much fun. I could play around with... I could definitely play with, like... I could definitely see Mira, Mira in a lot of scenarios. Oh, man. That's so fun. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna upload... I think I'll upload these. Uh, oh, yeah. Corby. Okay. Cross space? Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Okay. I'm gonna Corby in. Corby. Okay. I think I got enough people for now. Um, let's see. Aku Yue, Ashley. Okie dokie. Let's see. I think I've got enough people. People. A lot of people going on. Okay. I was thinking of adding Turtle, Mel's alter ego, but I'm kind of afraid of like uploading because, well, Tearless kind of is so super sensitive sometimes. But then again, I guess I could add like, I guess I could create a different kind of icon for Turtle. All right, let me add a couple people real quick. Okay. Oh yeah, I also have another boys tier list too, so I'll probably do that and then a bo and then one more boys tier. Okay. I think I got everyone all set. Okay, here we go. Now I got some people. All right. Destiny. Destiny Klein, aka cosplay gamer. What would she be? What would Destiny be? What would Destiny be? Hmm. Destiny probably... Hmm. <laughs> um... Hmm. I could... I love Destiny so much. But I could also see her, like, getting caught up in a murder scenario, too. I could see her getting caught up, mostly mostly in, like, a double one of, being caught up in one of the double murder case scenarios. Like, it's just one of those, it's not fair kind of thing. But I could also see her as, hmm. What do you guys think? Uh, mostly Astra and uh, Nedu. What do you guys think Destiny would be? Where would Destiny f be in this scenario? Would she be a survivor? Would she be one of the murder scenario? Would she... Mm. I don't know if I could see her making a. I don't. I can't see her making a sacrifice. I think she would be the type of person who thought about making a sacrifice, but she's more like afraid to make the move. Executed by Monokuma or Ultimate Despair? Oh, Ultimate Despair. Destiny has an Ultimate Despair. Hmm. That would be kind of cool to see, actually. Like, you wouldn't see it coming. Executed by Monokuma? Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh man, this is tough. This one is tough. Because Destiny could literally blend in really well. I think I, I guess I could see her being a survivor too. Ultimate despair or survivor? Hmm. Maybe she could pull off as an ultimate despair. Like, she would be looking casual or innocent, but maybe she's actually one of the ultimate despair. She could literally make that plot twist. And it would actually be interesting of a battle. Okay. So then we have Citrus. Citrus is an adorable, another adorable dog VTuber. Hmm. But I think that I could see Citrus, uh, hmm. I think for this scenario, if we were to put Citrus as, uh, hmm, let's see. I could definitely see Citrus being like, I could also, I could see Citrus is almost getting away with it, but gets caught by the protagonist as well. Like for Citrus's case, um, Citrus could probably be a hidden, would murder someone, but then like, uh, makes a very compelling, uh, also makes a very compelling, like, Evidence like reveals heart like, almost near convincing evidence that it's almost impossible to like to duck down So citrus could make that moment or um, Citrus could probably be I can't I don't I don't think I don't know if he would be a survivor of the game So I think I would say Citrus would be either almost gets away with it or unfortunately ends up with one of the two here. Um But I could see like a I could see as a murder case scenario though. And then that's when Mel deducts the evidence and does everything in her power to Avenge Citrus kind of deal. So Mal would be the kind of person to avenge Citrus. And then Da- and it'll also give Dami motivation to 100% protect friends. Protect. Uh, Maven. Hmm. Maven would... Hmm... Maven, 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 Maven. What would Maven do? Maven is super sweet. She's super comfy. Um... I feel like she also could deduct, find the evidence. I don't think, like, she would look into the evidence, but I think she would mostly be, like, thinking it over and get a oh, and deduct everything based on what they know during the class trial. But I also could see Maven... possibly a survivor? But at the same time, like... Hmm... It could be a double murder scenario where, like... Maven, it's like one of those moments where Maven doesn't deserve that moment, but unfortunately it was the case. Okay, so then... Mira has a lot of potential there, but I could also see her as like either an ultimate despair or executed by Monokuma. Like, she would be, she would definitely pull off an ultimate despair or 
execution. Or, actually, Mira would be probably be the ultimate despair. Because she could totally, be, she would totally be the type of person who would like, who would like be able, to, who would have a smile, but at the same time have a hidden knife behind them. It's like, nope, nothing, nothing bad is happening. It's totally fine. Oh, you're lying. Don't lie. Liars are bad. Kind of thing. She could be an ultimate despair. And she'd probably pull it off pretty well. In that case. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Aka Yue, Ashley. She would probably be executed by Monokuma. She would probably be executed. And she would have, like, the most badass way to be executed. Since she's, like, a knight. And I could totally see, like, a scenario where... I could also see her having a scenario where, like, she ends up she has she has good intentions because like maybe there's someone that's like one of the ultimate despair like she would be she could catch someone doing a wrong act but then at the same time she also knows that by by murdering someone she will also be executed and she would probably be okay with that like she would just stay in quiet this whole time while everyone just, like, argues, like, Who murdered this person? Who did this? Why'd you do this? Why are we going back and forth? Kind of deal. And then she couldn't stand to hear it anymore. I'm like, okay, I can't stand my friends suffering like this. It was me. I was only trying to protect someone. If you need to execute someone, execute me. So... She would probably have... But now that I think about it, she would also make a sacrifice with... CL2? Now that I explained that scenario and I think about it now, she would probably make a sacrifice. Um... Let's see. Who else? We got Emu here. Emu would... I could see her surviving. Like... She could probably... She could probably create a convincing story with the uh, but gets caught. But I could also see her as a survivor. In a very, like, unique scenario. Like... I feel like Emu would probably be like the wild card and save save the trial when it's needed. I feel like Emu would be would have that kind of moment there where she makes a moment to save everyone in her own way kind of deal. So I could see Emu being a survivor. Um, and we got Corby here. Corby, Corby. What would Corby be? What would Corby be? Corby would be... Hmm. I think Corby would be... Hmm. Corby would have... See, this is the funny part because then... Because you have... Um, you have... Uh, Harper the Raven and then you have uh, Corby the Crow. 
So if I make them, so if I make Corby the execution, that would mean the two birds would be uh, killed by Monokuma. Hmm. Corby is very sweet. So I can see Corby protecting their friends. I'd say Corby would be the protector. Corby would be the person to protect their friends. Tragic birds? Yeah, Corby would be like 100% protect their friends or be executed by Monokuma. Hmm. But yeah, like... I think that might be all I can know. I think that might be it, actually. It's kind of cool how we have one of each, one of one for three places. Like we have Neru as the protagonist, Amaya almost gets away with it, but gets caught by the protagonist, and then you have Harper as executed by Monokuma, and then you have myself, Macha, and Emu as the survivors. So neru has got a pretty good team there. You got like. A cute chinchilla chef. You got an artist bunny. And you got a doggo terror reader. On that team. So there's that. The ultimate despair would be Destiny and Mira. Uh, what 100% protect their friends would be Setsu, Dami, and Corvi. Astra would be... The, oh yeah, oh, I lied. Four places, sorry. Nagito Komaeda, Astro would have that unique role. Um, Akayue and Ciel would make a sacrifice for their friends. Amai would almost get away with murder, but then gets caught by the protagonist, and in other words, she would probably be executed. She almost got away with it. She would be the type who almost gets away with it. Because of how convincing she could be. Um, B and Mel would find the evidence and deduct everything based on what they know during class trial. Um, Harper, unfortunately, gets executed by Monokuma. But don't worry, Harper's not alone. Harper's not alone. Um, and then Ray, Citrus, and Maven would probably get murdered by someone, unfortunately. Mostly because, like, life's- it's not fair. Like, they didn't- they're like the- they're all the type of people who didn't do anything wrong. Especially Citrus. Citrus is, like, the person who, like, I didn't do anything wrong. Why did I deserve this kind of scenario? Because in the Danganronpa atmosphere, it's either, like, kill or be killed kind of deal. That's just how it is with Danganronpa. So I'll go ahead and save, download, download image. Uh, download image. Okay. So I'll have that uploaded. And I will have one more thing. One more tier list. And it will be a voice tier list. Based on what we know. Okay. So go ahead and do that. Okay. So we have the boys tier list maker. Um, Astra is more than welcome to correct me on who else would be identified as the boys. So I don't know which one it would be. But we'll make one more boys tier list. So let's do... How <laughs> tragic! <laughs> okay, so let's see. What would they... The, um... Hey, Astra, what do you think, uh... What would you think a scenario would be good? Which scenario would be good for a boy's tier list? What do you think? Give me something. Give me a best way to end with a bang. There's only four of you, but I also included... Mel and Lexi as an honorary the boys. 
Yeah, I, I did include honorary members. Um, uh, I'm thinking either like Mario Party maybe, or maybe, hmm, Heist Crew? Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. All right, a boys heist. Go on a heist. Okay, that's a good one. But yeah, I added like you, Brandon, Nick, Eventide, Milu, Lexi. Lexi's the Colette icon. I could technically include Dami too. Let me go ahead and upload that real quick. I could upload Dami. I guess I could have myself there. Starcross S tier. Fimble, thank you so much for subbing. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much for joining this fun time. I'm sorry once again that it was super late. But I wanted this to be worth it for you guys. So, yeah. Okay. So, I added myself in there as well. Alright. So. Um... Let's see. Would run off with all the money. Would run off with all the money. Um. Be caught by the police. Succeeds in. Kid. Succeeds in the heist. Um. Let's see. Undercover cop, yeah! That's cool. Oh yes, you did, Nara! I should add you in too. Undercover cop. Um, the solid snake in a box. <laughs> solid snake in a box. Okay, give me a moment. I'm gonna, okay, let me get, I'm gonna get Nara real quick. Nero is technically an honorary boys member. This is very true. All right, where is Netta? Netta, Netta, Netta. There it is. All right, let's go get Netta. Netta is right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and upload Nera in. Let's upload Nera. Okay. Where is my Netta, Netta, Netta? I have so much stuff. Okay. Uh-huh. Probably clean up soon. Alright, Nara's at it. There we go. Now Nara is at it. Here we go. Let's get started. If I need to add something of an idea, you guys are more than welcome to let me know. Okay. Um, we have Astra. If would he which one would he be? Or if you think of an uh, like an uh, like an actual idea, uh an actual better idea than I could, uh, one of these, let me know and I'll add it. So let me know what you guys think. What would Astra be? I feel like Astra would probably get caught by the police. <laughs> you get caught! I, I love how Astra and I share the same brain cell. Get caught by the police. Kneecap buster? Oh my- Oh, that's a good idea! Oh, that's genius, Nera. That's genius. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... Okay, hold on. I got a place for Astra. Oh, okay. You guys are making, giving me the best idea. Would kill a cop with a bow and arrow. Okay. That is definitely Astra. That's definitely Astra right here. Would kill a cop with a bow and arrow. Nice suit. Okay. We have Brindo. Brandon. What would we do for Brandon? Um... I can see Brandon... Hmm... Get their kneecaps busted from falling through the roof window. Would Brandon be... Hmm... I feel like Brandon would be the undercover cop, or run off with 
not run off with all- I don't think he would run off with I think he would be the undercover cop, actually. I think that might be Brandon right there. Brandon would probably be the undercover cop. Alright, Nick. Nick would probably get caught by the police or run off with all the money. Actually... Nick would probably be... Yeah, I can see Nick as one of those two. Hmm. What do you think, Astra? Would Nick be... Get caught by the police or run off with all the money? What do you think? What do you think Nick would be? He'd do something crazy? Okay, but like what? What would he do? Like, would it be crazy enough to get caught by the police? Or would he run off with the money? Punches the vault door open. <laughs> so you're saying he would run off with all the money. Got it. <laughs> he would actually be the type of person to punch the door open. Okay. Eventide. I could see Eventide. Oh man, Eventide would... Pro Considering what he does... He doesn't get caught by the police. I can't see him with that. But he probably could succeed in a heist. But I could also see him, like, going out, being, like, the vigilante, too. He, I don't think he would hide. I don't think he would shy hide. I think he would just succeed in a heist. Because he knows he has the power to, like, take out the cops because he doesn't care. He would do it. The Chris Redfield of the heist? Exactly! He's def he would definitely be the Chris Redfield. That's sad. Let's see. Um... Let's see. Milu. Mel. What would Mel do? Mel would probably be the solid snake in the box. She would probably just hide in the box. Mel would probably hide in the box. He has the power of God and anime on his side to open that vault. God. I can see Mel being like the solid snake. Get caught by the police? Okay, fair. I love Mel, but yeah, she would probably get caught by the police. And she'd be like, Ricky! Okay. Lexi. Oh, hell, Lexi would run off with get all the money. She would not. Either that or she would... Actually, no. She would definitely run off or solid snake in a box. She would definitely hide. Considering that she hides in the truck in Phasmophobia at times. She would probably be the solid snake in a box, actually. But she could also run off with the... She would also run off with the money with Nick. Okay, Dami. I can see Dami succeeding in a heist or be an undercover cop as well. I don't think- I highly doubt Dami would get caught by the police. Or hide. He's definitely not the type of- he's not, definitely not the shy type. Um... Actually, it would be kind of cool to see, like... A Dami and Nick team to run off with all the money and then have Lexi be like the third team of that uh, of that team Hmm Let's see I think Dami would get yeah, I think Dami would run off with all the money or be the undercover cop with Brandon. Hmm. I think he would run off with all the money. 
with Nick. Just help out Nick like... Oh, he'd succeed? Yeah, I could see Dami succeed. Hmm. Run off with all the money or succeed with Evan Tide. Like, I feel like Dom would be... If that's the case, Dom would probably be, like, kicking the car door open with Eventide, grab all the money, and just and just tell him to floor it. <laughs> floor the fuck out. That would be Dommy right there. Alright, and then there's me. What would I do? I would probably... Hmm... I think I would either be with Lexi on Solid Snake in a Box or be an undercover cop with Brandon. But then again, I could see you, Nara, being the undercover cop as well. Hmm. Yeah, I'd probably be I'd probably be the Solid Snake in a Box with Lexi. Nara would definitely be the undercover cop with Brandon. I could see Nara being the undercover cop. All right. Well, that was an easy tier list, unless Astra has anyone else in mind who would be an honorary boys. Unless Astra has somebody else in mind. Nara, I can see you being an undercover cop. I think you have the wit to pull it off. Either that or I run off. Yeah, I was actually... I was thinking about you running off with the money, but... I also feel like... You would be the... I feel like you would definitely be in the undercover cop scenario. Like, you would try to uh, get some information. But then Mel... But then Mel comes in... And ends up making a... Mis makes a makes a small mistake that gets caught by the police. And then you have no choice but to attack. But yeah. I think we got ourselves the boys heist. Yay! Yay, we did it! Honestly, I had so much fun making the tier list that... I didn't... I guess I didn't really... I guess I wasn't really feeling it for art. That's okay. I'll draw more art. Okay, fair point. <laughs> But yeah, we got our stuff. We got our tier list. So I'll send it especially to Astra later on. But yeah, that was so much fun. I had fun. I hope you guys had a good time with that too. Because I, I honestly enjoy it. I see why people like it so much. Hold on. Let's see if I can actually do that kind of thing. Yay. Okay. Thank you so much for joining, everybody. It was so much fun. Like, man. <laughs>